I am Gin, and here are 5 yellow champion tips. Number 1. Flurry. When you start to trade as a yellow champ, you can see that one of the effects you gain is Flurry. Every blade skill has a 30% chance to grant minus 20% attack duration, and that lasts for 20 seconds. You should also note that Bladestorm has a chance to give you Flurry on a critical hit. In other words, every AoE skill has a 30% chance to give you Flurry, and every time you crit with the skill Bladestorm, you get Flurry. When you finish trading into yellow, one of the set bonuses you get is plus 10 seconds to Flurry's duration, which means it's going to be a 30 second duration. And you also get a critical rating buff while it's active. As you can see on Bladestorm, Flurry duration is now 30 seconds and you get the crit as well. So now I'm going to try to activate Flurry using Bladestorm to get a crit. Let's see. There we go, I got a crit. Flurry is active for 30 seconds. I hit faster, I gain some crit. When you're in a fight using AoE, you'll probably have Flurry active at all times, but it's a nice little thing to be aware of. Number 2. Fervor Pots. You play a champion and you have a scholar, or do you know a scholar? You might want to get Fervor Pots for your champion. The 3 minute cooldown. And for 30 seconds, you get plus 45% Devastate Magnitude, which means your devastating hits are going to be even stronger and deal more damage. And it also gives you 5 Fervor. So if you use it with 0 Fervor, your Fervor will be full. On my champion, I haven't gotten the new ones yet, but I have the West Emnet ones. It gives 40%. The best time to use the Fervor pot is probably combined with your cooldowns such as Great Cleave. Maximize your damage potential. So let's take a look. If I use the Fervor Pot, my Fervor Bar is full. My buff, 30 second duration. My devastating hits are pow more powerful. Pair them with Great Cleave, etc. For more damage. And you'll hit like a truck. Number 3. Positioning. If you want to maximize your damage potential as a champion, it's important that you learn about positioning. The number one rule with any physical class, which includes champion, is to be behind the mob when you're hitting it. Your tank is standing right here, tanking this mob. You should always be behind. This way, the mob cannot block or parry, but it can still evade. If you hit from frontal, you can block and parry your attacks. Another example is if your tank is tanking a lot of mobs, you want to try and have as many of them in front of you as possible. Let's say your tank is standing right here. And there's like a lot of mobs around him like this. It should not be standing here. Hitting only these mobs when there's mobs over here too. It would be right here. With all the mobs in front of you. A 180 degree arc. It means all your AoE attacks will hit them. So as a general rule. Always have the mobs in a frontal arc. And stand behind the mobs when you're hitting them. Number 4. Redline buffs. Quick tip for a yellow champion. Go into redline. Get the plus 5% melee critical chance. This will take your crit chance to 30% instead of 25. And also on the next line, you get the minus 10% attack duration. Attacking faster is always a good thing. There's also a controlled burn deeper down into red line if you want to get that. It's a strong cooldown, but I find the all the other things in red line not to be worth it to get down. I'd rather Put some stuff into blue. And number 5. Poplar Horn. The yellow champion has a pretty good stunning skill called Horn of Gondor. 10 targets, 5 meter radius. 
and it stuns your targets for 3 seconds. Let's have a look. And you also require 5 fervor. So I stun these mobs. They stay stunned for 3 seconds and they fight again. If you have a woodworker or know a woodworker, you can craft you something called poplar horns. When you pop this horn, it has 6 targets, but the stun is 10 seconds, which is way longer than the usual skill a champion has. Let's give it a try. Let's get all the mobs grouped up. Upper horn. 10 second duration. Very powerful stun. This is something every champ should get. The mobs will be immune for 10 seconds. When that's where it wears off, you can pop your champion's horn again. The poplar horn has a 3 minute cooldown though, so keep that in mind. That's the end of the video. Hope you enjoyed. Leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.